You ready? Yeah. Hello, welcome. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you pointed at me. Wait, wait, wait. Like... No, I mean, look at the camera. You should have said, look at the camera then. Okay. Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we're doing number sentences and their families. Hi Niall. Yes, we are looking at number sentences and their families. We have two questions on the board. Can you tell us what the first question says? 4 plus 5. Can you work out 4 plus 5? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Great, so grab a 9 and put it by the answer. Nine. Good. So what I want us to do is the four plus five, I want us to swap those numbers around. What would it look like? Five plus four. Yep, go on. Five plus four. Okay. Five plus four. And what is five plus four? Can you show us, work it out on your... Finger. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, okay, good. Grab the answer and put it up there. So can you explain what's happened with those two questions? Even though we swapped them around, they equal the same thing. Good. Addition, there's a word for it. Addition is? Commutative. Commutative. It means if we swap the numbers around and we add, we'll get the same answer. Okay. Let's do the inverse. So we're going to start with the answer, which is the 9. So can you grab a 9? Nine? 9. Okay, so it's like we're doing the reverse now. So let's have a takeaway sign. Nine take and what happens if we take away one of those two numbers that we added originally? It's going to equal one of those two numbers. Okay, so grab one and explain. 9 take away 5. Okay, so let's see your 9 fingers. 9. Yeah, take away 5. 5 equals 4. Good job, so put the answer. 4. Very good, put the answer up there. 4. And now let's do the other one. Let's do 9 take away 4. 9 take away 4. 9 take away 4 equals 5. 9 take away 4 equals 5. Okay. Okay, great. So we can see that when we do 9, take away one of those two numbers that we previously added, we end up with the next number. Yeah. So subtraction is the inverse of addition. So this is a number family. Let's look at the other question. It's three times two. Three times two. Two, four, six. And if we swap the three and the two around, what would we have on the board? Six. If we swap the three and the two and we do the same calculation, what would it look like? Oh, three, no, two times three. Okay, so grab the numbers. Two times three. Okay, and can we see the calculation on your fingers for 2 times 3? One lot of 3 and the other lot of 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Very good. So for the answer. Okay, good job. So what, can, what do you notice about those two questions, those two number sentences? Even though we swap them around, they equal the same number. That means multiplication is also... Commutative! Very good. So addition and multiplication, if you swap it around, you still get the same answer. Yeah. So now let's start with the answer. What's the inverse of multiplication? So what will we be doing? 
if we're doing the reverse? Fix divided by. Very good. Divided by. And you two. Any one of those two numbers, yes. And can you show on your fingers if you have six? How many groups of twos do we have? Two, four, six. So how three. Many? Three groups of twos. Good. Four, three, and three divided by. Are you sure we start off with the three there? Oh, six. You can't see what you're doing. Divided by three. three. So let's see those fingers again. How many groups of threes are there in six? One group of three, two group of three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So two groups of threes, very good. So when we start with the answer we had from the multiplication, if we divide by any of those numbers, we will get the yes, other same. number. Very good, now. So these are number sentences and their families. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take everything off the board and yes. then you're going to do two questions for us. So what we're going to do, we're going to do addition first. So let's grab, can you take the number nine? Nine? Mm -hmm. Nine plus, plus four. Four. Great. So now I want you to work that question out on your fingers. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, great. 13. One, three. Good. Now, without working anything else on your fingers, I want you to fill out the other number sentences in that family using that first number sentence. And can you explain? Okay. So I'm going to put 9. Plus, wait, nine is that? Right. Four plus nine. Four plus nine equals thirteen because it's commutative. Very good. Nine plus four equals thirteen. That means four plus nine is equal to thirteen. Yeah. Okay. And then? And. So can you explain how you've done that? So it's just like before, mm -hmm. because 4 plus 9, or 9 plus 4, will equal 13. So I split it into those two numbers, and then, it, and then we start with the answer that we had before. Yes, and if you take away one of the numbers, you're going to... End up with the other With number. the other one, very good. So do the last one for us. One plus, I mean, thirteen take away four equal nine. Okay. Very good. So we're going to go to the multiplication now and let's try two. Two. Times five. Two times five. Two times five. Times five. Times five. Well, two lots of five equals ten because um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Can you grab the marker, Nile? Can you grab one of the markers and write the answer ten in at the top? Okay. 
And what if we put it, swap it around um, five times two equals ten. Ten. Okay, good. Five times two equals ten. How do you know that? Because two times five equals ten. It's and commutative. Yes, multiplication is commutative. Good. So can you finish the other two with your pen? Ten. Ten. We can't see. Ten. ten. Divided by two equals five. Ten divided by two equals five. Good. And the last one? 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Very good. Excellent. That was a brilliant lesson. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. And if you did, please subscribe now. Bye. Bye. Now we have some practice questions for you to try. When you're ready, pause the video and have a go. When you're finished and ready for the answers, press play.